Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to change colors. We're going to do color transitions with shape layers, and I'm also going to show you how to do it using typography or changing the color of uh, your, your font or your type, and that's actually kind of tricky. And these are really cool for those of you that are new to uh, After Effects, and you want to add some color, and you don't want everything to be the same color. You want to add some transitions. So let's just dig in and get it rolling. Um, I've opened up After Effects here. I'm using CC 2019, the latest version. Whatever version you're using, it's probably this one, but if it's not, well, just follow along because it hasn't changed in the last few years. So we've opened it up. I'm going to go ahead and click New Composition, and this doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do 1920 by 1080, and I'm going to hit OK. Now. The composition is here, it's loaded, but there's nothing here. So the next step is I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm going to create a background. So you want to go layer, new, and I'm just going to do a solid. And I'm just going to do black solid. So we've got something in the background there. We've got a black solid. We are on our way. Let's do the, uh, let's do a shape layer first. I'll show you how to do that transition or that color change. And then I'll show you how to do the typography next. So the first one is the shape layer. And I'm just going to create a nice, oh shoot, I made a mistake there actually. You see what I did? This is actually really, really interesting for newer people. If you click on the solid and you draw out, it draws a mask. But if you're not clicked on the solid, you're clicked on nothing here where my cursor is. I'm not clicked on it. I'm clicked off of it. It will draw a shape layer. This is very frustrating for, for me when I first started out because I didn't know what the hell I was doing wrong. So if you caught me there and we're and you've struggled with that, that is possibly the problem. So again, I've drawn a shape layer. It's purple. I'm just going to align it to the center here in the align section. And presto, there we go, guys. We've got our shape layer. Now, the playhead is at zero seconds, and I want to change this from purple to red, let's say. I want to go from purple to red, and let's say I want to do it in like three seconds-ish or something like that. So. The way to do that is you want to go down to the shape layer and start dropping these triangles. Really simply here, you're going to see rectangle one, and then you're going to see fill one. This is where you go ahead and make the color change. In particular, it's set to purple, just like we want. I'm going to click on this little stopwatch, and that basically says, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to command Z that. I'm going to, or control Z if you're on a PC, so I, I've done nothing. So we've got nothing on. All we've got is this open. You want to click on the stopwatch here on the color. And then you'll see here that I can go ahead now and adjust the color. So at zero seconds, I want it to be purple. And then let's say at around three seconds, almost three seconds, yeah, something like that, I want it to be red. Let's go with bright red. We want to show that transition. By doing that, I will show you. I'll go to the start. I'll click on it. I'll hit space bar to just run the composition or just run it through. And you're going to see here that it, over those three seconds, it went from red, from purple to red, which is exactly what we wanted. This is extremely useful for those of you guys that do motion graphics and things like that, and you want to have some colors or some adjustments on there. That's all there is to it. I'm going to delete this shape layer, and now I'm going to show you how to do it with typography or with font. This is a little trickier. Uh, it's not straightforward, so let's just dig right in. I'm going to go ahead and click on my little horizontal type tool up here and I'm gonna write my name my name is Curtis aha there we go and that's a pretty good size let's go ahead and make it a little bigger and let's align it in the middle why not okay good so we've got my name Curtis it's in red but I want to make the color go from red to let's say white that makes sense right that was a nice high contrasty color now normally you would go over here you click on this and you see it's set to red that's great, but there's no stopwatch here. You can't make any color changes on that over time, which is what I want to show you. So that's not actually how you do it. I'm going to click on the, I'm going to click on my name here, and then I'm going to go to animate. I drop down the triangle, click on the little button here that says animate. This is where we do the work. In particular, you're going to see fill color. And then if you go across, you'll see RGB, which means red, green, blue. This is what we're looking for. Left click on that. Now, when you do that, it opens up automatically and you're going to see fill color and you're going to see the stopwatch. This is what we're looking for. So I am going to click the stopwatch here at zero seconds and it is on red. And then let's say at like around almost three seconds, 
it's gonna go, what did we say we wanted, white. This is how you change it. You'll notice here, again, stopwatch is clicked. It's gonna go from red, as you can see here. Let's hit play, I'm just gonna click off and hit spacebar. Red to white over those three seconds. This is how you do a change in typography or font or whatever you wanna call it, guys. This is how you do a color transition. I hope this tutorial helped. I've got a ton more stuff coming up. Thank you for watching.